Hi, welcome to this video blog. My name's Hank, and today I'll be reviewing The Cabinet of Dr. Caligari. So the movie starts out, it's a protagonist, Francis, and he meets Dr. Caligari and his future telling somnambulist, uh, Cesar, at a fair. And he tells Alan, Francis's best friend, that he has until dawn to live. So when the prediction comes true and Alan gets stabbed that night, Francis believes Cesar and the doctor are to blame. So he further investigates to find a weird sleeping Caesar sleeping standing in a box. So at around the same time, um, it is it is believed um, that Caesar was also abducting Jane. Um, so we find out that the sleeping Caesar ended up being just a dummy. Um, to allow Cesar to then um, carry Jane away and try and abduct her, but he ends up getting tired and falling asleep instead. So, Dr. Caligari ended up using the time to escape to an insane asylum, for which we find out at the end he ends up heading the whole insane asylum. Um, it's a pretty strange movie, abstract, very, very much abstract. Um, I very much enjoyed it. Uh, it is also the poster child of German Expressionism. Uh, and German Expressionism is basically to express emotion in as many ways as possible. Um, so the set is just littered with long, jagged, pointed diagonal lines. Um, never flat or even or equal. It's always meant to create a weird, dark fantasy type of a world. And that's where you can really bring out emotion. The dark emotion, sad happy whatever it is it can really be brought out in a fantasy world rather than just in the real world what's weird is there's the lack of sound there's no voices there's very little music um normally music's used to influence the audience um, emotionally telling them what to do instead of that they add tints to uh the scene so there's a blue tint or it'll change to a yellow tint uh, it changes colors um, to show kind of what the director is having the protagonist mood be. It's always about the protagonist mood, I would say. Um, another aspect that he was really good at is fading. He would always fade in and out when he would be changing um, to show passage of time or also to show uh, changes of scene or setting. So then he would fade it out, and then fade it back in, and it would be a whole new scene, which was big for that time. It was a big movement to add that effect into movies. Um, it was very smooth for that time period. Um, this type of movie has also inspired big names for today, such as Tim Burton. So if you've seen Alice in Wonderland or The Nightmare Before Christmas, um, both of those movies very much resemble German expressionism, and also they just relate to this movie perfectly. Um, they both have those dark themes with sets that really try and emphasize emotion and bringing out as much as we can in that. Um, overall, I thought it was a great movie. Uh, they really dominated in the emotion achieving category and this like dark ghouly i i really enjoyed it and also i was just a fan of the overall abstract i think we need more abstract movies in the world today um thank you so much for listening to this uh blog and i hope you get a chance to see the movie soon it's very good